what up youtube this is chevy brother coming at you with another update video on project freight train and i also have the experimental stampede but more on that later on in the show i'll get to that in a minute uh also too i want to send a shout out to mr mimo 12 uh for creating the sun kissed body i know you guys are looking at this body like man he still hasn't put any holes in his body no i refuse to this body is too nice to do that to um this is just my show body now um i still haven't bought a body for freight train yet um, i'm still you know trying to get the muscle of this car up uh i'm worried about appearance last so that's why i'm just you know using this as a show body but the body that i use to run i'm using a stampede body and yeah it is a piece of junk but anyway let's go ahead and crack the hood on here and show you guys what i got going on here yeah i know you guys are looking at the front wheels like man what in the world is going on here well i uh i took it apart um the steering rack here the holes these holes here are kind of stripped so um i did replace this when i re when i built this truck originally but um yeah, I've been, <laughs> it's a whole lot that's been going on with this truck. Um, I actually uh, blew the diff in the rear end, so I went ahead and rebuilt this transmission. I uh, I put the spool in there, and, you know, I heard mixed, mixed reviews on the spool, so I'm like, you know what, let me find out for myself. So I went ahead and threw the spool in there, and man, this thing ran like dog crap. Man, it beat the crap out of the transmission. I mean, it beat the suspension up. I mean... If you run a spool on the street, it beats the crap out of your car. Um, so I had to go ahead and tear the trans apart again uh, because it did with the spool. It broke some parts inside the transmission again. So I had to tear it apart, rebuild it again. Um, I had to put a new diff in there, new diff gears, etc. Um, so, yeah, the transmission in here, that's all brand new because I had to re I rebuilt the whole guts of that. Um Still running these speed tread tires now. Man, a comment on these speed treads. <laughs> um, these speed treads are actually buggy tires. These are A-scale buggy tires from Dynamite Hobbies. Um, these tires, they worked okay, but I'm running on NIM batteries still. I haven't went to 3S yet. Uh, if you look at these tires, the dang unglued blew off of these things. I mean, I'm trying to see here. Yeah, you can see it in this tire here. And then this one's really bad. Let me see if I can... Uh, show you guys this one ah uh, well forget it but yeah this one's pretty bad the glue came off um these were on the back i know i did one of my previous videos about talking about suspensions and whatnot and i was saying you know if you're have anything loose or bent in your suspension it's going to cup your tires these tires were actually on the rear of my truck um yeah they're still cut pretty bad because you know this one here it's got a big gouge going in there and some rubber missing and whatnot. Yeah, I had the uh, VXL tie rods. They were bent. I had an issue with those. Uh, I changed those out. Had a, uh, a bearing issue, too, that I, you know, found out. Um, so I went ahead and rotated the tires from the rear, or from the front to the rear. Uh, put them on the rear. Um, and after a few runs, as you can see, now this is with some runs with my dynamite motor. And some runs with my new motor. As you can see, this tire here is just bald. Look at that. And I just bought these tires maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago. Um, yeah, getting on more to the car. Um, I still have the roller bearings, all four corners, 17 millimeter hub adapters, RPM A arms all the way around, um, full roller bearings. I have the Traxxas roller bearings. I don't have ceramic bearings because I'm not balling like that. Uh, this is still a speed truck on a budget, so I don't have all the top-of-the-line parts in there and all the little fancy doodads and doohickeys. I don't have all that. I have what is bare bones necessary to make it run, make it go fast. I mean, I don't even have any chrome on this thing, none of that. I don't need that. Uh, getting back to the rear here, I have the Traxxas wheelie bar. Um, these shocks here off of a Revo 3.3, uh, they have titanium shafts in there. I haven't added any shock oil to them yet. Um, I'm still playing with the spring rate on here. Um, these things have been working awesome with no, sh no shock oil in them at all. Um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys about my eBay find here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy around. So see if I can get this in the picture here. Um, this guy right here is actually... The 2400 KV Castle Creations 1415 series motor that comes in the Traxxas Funny Car. I actually picked this motor up off of eBay for $55 shipped. 
Yes, this motor kicks butt. Uh, I ran this motor on my uh, 45 amp dynamite uh, taser ESC. Even on 7 cell, this thing was retarded. I just did that, you know, just to set the gear mesh, just to get the, you know, to make sure I had the transmission assembled correctly. I know I set it up with the wrong ESC and I sent 7 cell NIM, but this car, it boogie. So after I ran it a couple times on that ESC, um, you know, I knew it was set up totally wrong. I had to, I was playing with gearing and whatnot. Um, the fastest I had it with the wrong ESC and seven cell, um, this thing cracked like 38 miles an hour like that. I was surprised. Uh, before I did the motor swap, the fastest this went on my other motor, my Dynamite 3300, I did 45 miles an hour with that. I don't have any video coverage of that, but the fastest this heap, this car went with that motor was 45 miles an hour okay now we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna bring in the experimental stampede here also too I want to send a shout out to Tat Money, Mumfordale um, I've been following your stampede build and uh, I've been kicking around some ideas and I was like you know what I went through you know all my little stash spots my junkyard of my parts and whatnot and uh, in the beginning when I first started out I had a stampede uh, so I had a lot of, you know, leftover parts and whatnot. So this chassis here I found on eBay. This is actually, uh, this chassis actually comes from the Traxxas Scully line that they have out. I believe it's a new line, but it's all, all the trucks are based off of the Stampede. Uh, they come with a black murdered out frame like this, but all the skid plates underneath are blue. Um, I had these already. These are already black. So I just put these on, um, what I did, I borrowed my servo out of freight train real fast, put that in there. So that's a 2056. Uh, this truck is basically an X05 with roller bearings in it and all, you know, on all the wheels and whatnot. Um, RPM front bumper. This is courtesy of Zach Lopez. I'll give you a shout out there. Uh, Speed Chasers. Thank you, my brother. I told you those parts are coming handy. So a lot of the parts he gave me, um, they were put to use in this truck. Um, I'm borrowing these off of freight train right now. Um, these tires here are the Anacondas that I had on F-Bomb originally. <laughs> I know, guys. You're like, man, he blew these tires up. They have holes in them. Yeah, these still do have the giant holes in the back. But you know what? This is just my experimental. So, hey, you know, I'm just trying to see how it handles, how it runs. I mean, if it handles good, it runs good. I'll make the investment to buy the good tires, good rims, etc. Um, on this truck, I'm running my old Dynamite Taser 3300 from uh, Horizon Hobbies. That's the ESC. Uh, that's the motor there. This transmission, this is an eBay find also. Um, I got this tranny for $37. I went through it, made sure the bearings are cool and everything. Uh, greased it up. Uh, made sure the diff was nice and greased. Uh, changed the bearings, greased those real nice and uh, put it in there. Uh, gear ratio, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, but yeah, this is my Dynamite Taser 3300 motor right here. Um, this motor was in freight train and F-bomb. Uh, the fastest this motor went was 45 miles an hour on an M battery. So I say, what the hey? I put it on here and see what we can get. Um, but yeah, that's what's all been going on with me is, uh, you know, been just working and trying to get these, well, trying to get this car in order. This one, I just built this car a couple days ago. Um... I basically wanted something I could tool around the neighborhood and, uh, you know, in the fall and whatnot. Don't have to worry about it. The ground's wet. I can't run and yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, I built this guy. Um, I don't know if I'm going to turn this into a basher, a speed runner, or anything. Right now, it's in experimental phases because I'm just trying to see, you know, how a stampede handles because I really never drove one. So, uh, yeah, I was watching Tap Money's video and uh, got kind of interested. Uh, I think Dan P. or somebody else is building a, a speed run stampede, too. So I was like, hey, you know, I'll give it an idea, kick it around. And I had some, you know, some parts laying around, and boom, I built it. Uh, this rolling chassis I got off of eBay for $32 shipped. Uh, the transmission was $37. Everything else was just laying around in my junkyard at home. So I just put it all together, and boom. I got a running truck. I brought my electronics from Freight Train just, you know, because I had a couple issues with this. So this is put away for the summer. Uh, I'm going to be working on this over the fall. So I put all my electronics out of this truck into here. So, yes, I'm still running my 7-cell NIM battery, 3400 mAh. Yeah, I know this thing's a piece of crap. But, um, you know, I've just been basically trying to get my performance up, build a better vehicle so that when I do go 3S, 
I don't have to worry about, oh, no, this broke. I'm going to slam into a tree or curb or anything like that. So I just basically been, you know, trying to get my vehicles up to snuff. But I'm anxious to see this this thing here. Uh, if this is off the Traxxas funny car, this is they say this is the ETS three system from Traxxas. Now, if you order the ETS three ESC that goes with this, they say you can only run three S on that. Uh, what I have found through my research, uh, if you go to the Hobby Wing, I think it's the Hobby Wing uh, SC8. That's a 120 amp ESC. That ESC will actually do 4S. This motor here, uh, the original 1415 from Castle Creations, the green can, uh, that motor can hold 5S. They say this one can do it too, but they don't recommend it. I mean, if you have a disposable income to do it, hey, I say shoot the 5S at it and see how fast the thing would go. Um, so that's what I'm at right now. This car here is going to be converted over for 4S. Originally, I was going to go 3, and I'm like, eh, well, I got the funny car motor, and I got the motor that could hold the power. Why not? Go to the extra cell, see what happens. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change these tires out. Uh, these are going to go over to GRPs. This motor I'm keeping. Uh, I'm going to get the Hobby Wing ESC for 4S 2075 ESC. This car should be good to go. This one here, I'm still trying to decide on what which way I'm going to go. Is it going to be speed run, basher? I don't know. Uh, guys, I don't even have a name for this thing. Uh, so, yeah. Also, too, I want to send a shout-out to my subscribers. I got 47 subscribers. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for your views. Uh, I appreciate your donations. I appreciate your support. But, yeah, I'm reaching out to my subscribers. Um, which way would you like to see this truck go? Uh, would you like to see a speed basher? Would you like to see a basher? speed run stampede hey guys let me know also too i'm letting you guys pick the name for this creation here so with that being said that's all for now rate comment subscribe give me a thumbs up until and as always keep rc and keep wrenching peace